So how's this for a gift? An $80,000 car will help Kirkwood Community College's automotive program. Now the car won't help students get around campus, but it should help drive their careers. And with cars today looking more like supercomputers, KCRG TV 9's Abigail Curtin shows us why this luxury vehicle has become a necessity for learning. With almost 300 million cars on the road in the U.S., the demand for auto technicians is higher than ever. And according to the TechForge Foundation, the industry is short more than 600,000, which is why Jungi Auto Group just donated an $80,000 car to Kirkwood Community College's automotive program. We've just seen over the years a lot of people aren't working on them like they used to even when I was growing up. They're not working on it with a uncle, a father, a mother, or a, you know, a, a friend. So we've kind of seen that industry die. Complete with advanced collision detection systems, heated and cooling seats, and more, this 2023 Lincoln Aviator has many of the high-tech features modern cars have, something that Kirkwood's current fleet of vehicles doesn't have. One professor says this can lead to challenges when starting in the field professionally. Not having all the bells and whistles, uh, their first time being a technician for, say, something that fails for that, uh, they're going to have to learn on the job site, which can be a very slow process. But by implementing the latest features into their curriculum, Hazen hopes this will help get people interested in pursuing the trade, especially since several members of his staff are graduates of Kirkwood's program. We just continue to see the success in both the program and then ourselves, you know, reaping the benefits of having good qualified technicians and stuff coming out of this program. But regardless of if this boosts the number of people enrolled in the program, Hazen and Pope say it's still a worthy investment to prepare each student as best they can for the real world. In Cedar Rapids, Abigail Curtin, KCRG, TV9 News.